Leap years serve as a fascinating element within our Gregorian calendar system, a timekeeping mechanism that has been used by much of the world for centuries. This quadrennial adjustment of adding an extra day to the calendar year, February 29th, plays a crucial role in keeping our calendars in alignment with Earth's orbit around the Sun and the subsequent changing of the seasons. Understanding the necessity and mechanics of leap years involves delving into astronomy, history, and the evolution of calendar systems. The Earth does not orbit the Sun in precisely 365 days. Instead, it takes about 365.21425 days for the Earth to complete one orbit around the Sun, a period known as a tropical year. This fractional day creates a mismatch between our calendar year and the solar year. Without adjustment, this discrepancy would cause our calendar to drift away from the astronomical seasons at a rate of almost one day every four years. Over centuries, such drift would significantly misalign the calendar from the timing of the equinoxes and solstices, leading to the cultural and agricultural misalignments with the seasons. An equinox is an astronomical event during which the plane of Earth's equator passes through the center of the sun. This alignment results in nearly equal lengths of day and night across the entire planet. Equinoxes occur twice a year, marking the start of spring and autumn. Solstices are key astronomical events that occur twice a year and mark the extremes of the sun's apparent movement in the sky. These events signify the moments when the sun reaches its highest or lowest point in the sky at noon, marked by the longest and shortest days of the year. The solstices are pivotal in defining the change of seasons, the concept of leap years was not present in the earlier Julian calendar, which was implemented by Julius Caesar in 46 BC. The Julian calendar introduced a leap year every four years without exception, which overcorrected the drift, leading to the accumulation of excess days over the centuries. By the 16th century, this miscalculation had resulted in a significant shift that prompted the reform to the Gregorian calendar under Pope Gregory XIII in 1582. The Gregorian reform introduced a more precise rule for leap years to correct the Julian calendar's drift and realign the calendar with the equinoxes and solstices, especially the spring equinox, which is critical for determining the date of Easter. The Gregorian calendar's rules for leap years are designed to closely approximate the length of a solar year. According to these rules, a year that is divisible by four is a leap year. However, if the year can be evenly divided by 100, it is not a leap year unless the year is also evenly divisible by 400, then it is a leap year. This means that years like 1600, 2000, and 2400 are leap years, but years like 1700, 1800, and 1900 are not. These rules eliminate three leap days every 400 years, providing a very close approximation to the solar year. Leap years are crucial for maintaining the alignment of the calendar with the Earth's movements around the sun. Without them, our seasons would gradually shift within the calendar, eventually leading to noticeable changes in the seasonal markers, like the hottest and coldest months, and their associated weather patterns in relation to the calendar dates. This alignment ensures that the equinoxes and solstices remain relatively constant in relation to the calendar, which is important for both agricultural planning and cultural or religious observances tied to specific seasons or celestial events. Leap years also have various cultural and practical implications. For instance, the tradition of women proposing marriage to men on February 29th, known as Leap Day, has been popularized in some cultures. In the realm of computing and software, leap years present challenges for programmers and systems administrators because they must ensure that systems can correctly handle the extra day, a task that has led to bugs and errors in the past, notably during the Y2K and other date-related issues. The current system of leap years is not perfect. It creates a very small annual excess of about 26 seconds over the actual solar year. This discrepancy means that in about 3,300 years, the calendar will be off by one day. Although this seems negligible in the short term, it highlights the ongoing challenge of reconciling our systems of timekeeping with the celestial movements that govern them. Leap years embody our ongoing quest to harmonize human-made systems of timekeeping with the natural world's rhythms. They are a testament to the ingenuity and adaptability of human societies in their efforts to organize life around the solar year's complex, fractional cycle. By adding a single day every four years, leap years correct the gradual drift of the calendar away from the Earth's orbit around the Sun, ensuring that our calendars remain a reliable framework for tracking the passage of time, planning for the future, and maintaining our connections to the natural world.
Through the intricacies of their calculation and the global adherence to their observance, leap years highlight the remarkable intersection of astronomy, history, and the human endeavor to measure and make sense of time. If you do enjoy the content on my channel, I'd greatly appreciate your support. Please consider subscribing to stay updated on future uploads and giving the video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Your support means the world to me and it helps the channel grow.